Welcome to Captain Spamalot's Tall Tale Guide. I'm Captain Spamalot. I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't been playing Sea of Thieves for very long, but this isn't a bad thing, it should give you hope, because if this noob can get through the Tall Tales, then so can you. In this video, I will walk you through my first Tall Tale, the Shroud Breaker. Now keep in mind that this Tall Tale has some variations, which means that the islands that I visited in my voyage might not be the ones you will need to visit on yours. This walkthrough will simply serve to give you an idea of what you'll encounter in your quest for the Shroud Breaker. Now, let's begin. Step 1. Gather resources. This step seems pretty obvious, but it's important that you're prepared for any amount of battle that you may come across on your journey. Just because you chose to do a PvE voyage doesn't mean anybody else gives a shit. They will attack your lootless ass in the off chance that you have treasure to steal. Step 2. Start the Tall Tale. In order to initiate the first tall tale, you must pay a visit to the mysterious stranger who can be found at any outpost tavern you find yourself at. This is no oh shit, something. You are Eat my yeah. warning? Few pirates have even my heard of the shores of I won't include the NPC talking to make sure you actually experience the adventure. But it's also because a fellow pirate friend couldn't contain his excitement and spoke over the NPC. I'm going to be quiet and not say anything. He didn't stay quiet. Step 3. Find a shipwreck. Once your pirate crew has voted on the tall tale next to the mysterious stranger, go to view your quest and read through the journal of the pirate lord for clues on where to find the shipwreck. Pages 7 through 10 of the journal will tell you where to find a sunken shipwreck near an uncharted island between the Crooked Masts and Old Crook's Hollow. You've probably come across these islands a shit ton by now, so finding them should be easy peasy. Southwest, my boy. Got ship there. Step 4. Find the ship's log. Once you find a shipwreck, look for the ship's log, which can be found in the captain's quarters. If you have a pirate crew with you, have a friend stay on your ship to serve as lookout, while you go searching for the sunken ship. Like a doggy dropping a deuce, you'll need someone you trust keeping an eye out for enemies while you do your business. Um. Am I back in the same place? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't see the... Oh my god, that other end... Oh, ah. Okay, I see. I'm coming uh, up for you. Yeah. Alright, breathe, bitch. I'm going down. Uh, where are they? So. Is it on the first level or second level? Second you will find level. the ship's log chilling on the captain's chair. Ooh, that's shiny. What's that? That is the shiny Yo. thing that I wanted to pick up! GG, fam. <laughs> Step 5. Figure out the route to the ancient chest. Read through the ship's log for clues of a sunken ancient chest. The ship's log will provide you with step-by-step -step directions of where you'll need to go. This is the part of the voyage where there are some variations, so you might have a different route. Make sure you stand by your ship's map while reading the compass directions, as this will make it easier to follow the route described. It's like, can you read it out okay. again? Sure. Um, anchoring down on the east side of Plunder Valley, Captain's gone ashore. The Burning Blade. We are fleeing east. They are turning to pursue. Passing a small, shallow island, continuing east. Chicken Isle. Chicken Isle. Coming up, coming up on a short chain of islands turning southeast so that's snake island then yep then dropping the chest overboard north of a small island head northeast heading northeast and then the burning blade is gaining they will soon catch us i think it's paradise springs all right should we go straight there <laughs> okay See. oh the water just got super clear my man oh shit what does that mean? Could be a cracker. Oh no, what about... I thought it was the skies that had to be clear. The sky is clear. Oh... Well, right Paradise now, Spring is coming up! Right now we're under... a cloudless sky. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so no. I just uh, remember, if it was to show up, and it wraps a tentacle around, that should be like the, the go-to, like slash slash. Mm -hmm. Right, yes. 
All right, Alex, in 10 seconds, it'll be to your right. It's a small island. Step six, find a chest with a totem. Once you find the island, check the ship's log to find out on which side of the island the ancient chest was dropped off. Which direction did it say it was of the island, Pam? Let me check. Uh, dropping the chest overboard north of a small island, head heading northeast. Okay, so it's north northeast kind of direction of that island. Is that right? No, it's definitely north of the island. Oh, okay, and then uh, and then they headed northeast. And this is the ancient chest should be easy to find, even underwater, as all treasure gives off a slight uh, glint from far away. The, the book gave us the log. Ah, uh, sick. All right, I'm, I'm so this is boat, guys. north. All right. Okay. Um, Oh boy, I guess underwater? Once you find a chest, open it and you'll find new clues that will further your voyage. As well as a totem that is meant to be used to open up a cave at your next destination. Ours was a scarab totem, but like this island, this part of the quest also has variations. Oh, oh hey! That's shiny! <laughs> Have you got it? Yo, that was uh, unbelievably it. easy. Wow. Easy is my middle name. Uh. Step 7. Find the final island. Open your quest book to find new pages with drawings of the next island that you'll need to visit, where you will need to use the totem. So you're looking for one that looks like a high five. With a dislocated thumb. The drawing will have various island possibilities. Ours happen to be Crook's Hollow. Once you arrive at your destination, you'll need to look around and identify where to place the totem, which will most likely be a statue. The statue will be next to a drawing that matches your totem. Our totem was shaped like a scarab, so we went off to look for a scarab drawing near the island's tears, which are obviously a reference to waterfalls. Place the totem on the statue and a hidden passageway will open, leading you to a secret cave. Don't quit, dude, because... We'll if if you want to come, I don't know if... Or do you want to stay at the, at the ship? Uh, no, 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 if you want to stay... If you... Okay, you stay on the ship, alright. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the... Because if we the lose the ship, job. then we'll lose the... Yeah. Then yeah. we really lose yeah. the voyage. I'll do the thankless tasks. Thank you. Mm. Right, so... Step 8. Input the clues in the escape room. As you enter the cave, you'll come across a table with four unlit lanterns and four totem poles along the back of the cave, with symbols painted on them. Before you touch anything, look back at your quest book and review the three lines made up of four symbols each. Once you've memorized what each line of symbols look like, light the lanterns on the corner of the table and turn the middle section of each totem pole so it matches the first line of symbols on your quest book. Once you've finished the first line, go back to the table and enter it into the table before you quickly start on the next line. The room will begin to flood, but don't freak out. Once you're done entering that last line, the water will subside. Alright. Three people holding the so sun no. on the last three. That first one needs to be somebody holding up fire. That's it, yes. Alright. And then the other three are... I've changed them, they're alright. Alright, let me yeah. into the solution. Yes. All right. What else? What happens? Okay, it reopens. Yo, this is glowing now. Look at this. This is amazing. So glowy. Oh. I think we have to find this location. Step nine. Find the medallion. You'll notice there are three empty slots in front of the table where it looks like some medallions need to be placed. The image is a hint of where the first medallion can be found. Each image will show you one or two more prominent features on the island that serve as landmarks to help you locate each medallion, as well as an illuminated spot that shows you where each medallion is buried. I truly recommend taking a photo of the image so you have something to reference while looking around on the island. Alright, that's the case. Be right here. Once you've found the first medallion location, dig up the spot that was illuminated in the image. If it's the right location, you'll dig up a gold medallion and a bunch of coral skeletons will rise to deter you. Defeat the skeletons, then grab the medallion and head back to the table in the cave to place it in the first empty slot. A new image will appear on the table. Repeat this step another two times to find the last two medallions. 
Oh. Okay. Anyway, look at the... And that's why these houses are showing up here. Ah. Uh, I'll, I'll handle them. Do you want to start digging? All right. Once you place the final medallion in the slot, a door at the back of the cave will open up to reveal the Shroud Breaker. Uh... Alright, place the medallion. Oh shit. Is this what Indy felt like? <coughs> oh! What? There is a golden thing I need to pick up, and I have a feeling I'm gonna get shit on as soon as I pick it! Shroud Breaker? Run! Why you little? Run! Once you make it out of the cave alive, you'll want to go straight to the mysterious stranger and hand him the shroud breaker in order to complete the quest. This can be any mysterious stranger, but if you would like to move directly to the second tall tale, the cursed rogue, go see the mysterious stranger on Plunder Outpost. You will be able to activate the second tall tale on that island. And there's a fucking skelly ship. God damn it! Oh damn it! Fuck, where? Um... Oh shit. If this guide was in any way helpful to you, and you'd like some help on the second tall tale, The Cursed Rogue, please feel free to give this video a like to show your support, and or subscribe, and you'll get notified on when the second guide is up for viewing. Thanks for watching!